We're at Sarah's Tipsy Pies with Jenny, the, the, uh, our friend that provides us with a very great parking spot. She's very kind. She's known for more in the world, but this week she's known as a, a midwife and an yeah. awesome quilter. Yes. All of the, in fact, you can see her quilt at the education building at any time you like. It's in the middle-ish. And it's a monarch. It's a monarch. Yeah. And it's a small-scale one. Smaller. What do they call that? Um, so, I mean, it's just a wall hanging. Wall hanging. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, for any of my friends that don't drink, Sarah's Tipsy Pies, it's kind of a frightening name, a Tipsy Pie, but I don't drink. If you get the boozy blueberry lemon without the topping, then it's just blueberry lemon. Not boozy. That's what we got. Also, she's got a coupon in the coupon book. How much was that? Three dollars off? Yeah. That's a good deal. Three dollars off. The coupon book only costs five dollars, so you've already made almost all of your money. All right. Wait. Photo. Photo? Oh. Super All right. Okay. So, number one seller. Business is good this year, I guess. And the food building isn't as hot as it used to be. No. No. It's not. You're right about that. It, it's hard when you're trying to politely split an item with a plastic fork. I'm going to go for this side piece because I'm mangling. Oh my god. Right? It is really good. That tastes, <laughs> that tastes so good. Her filling is to die for. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, the crust, crust is, is light and flaky. Yeah. yeah. And at that scale, at that scale, that's hard. Right? Yeah, very, very good. Hand forked. Oh my god, that's good. Is right? good? Yeah. I always thought that Sarah's Tipsy Pies were just for bachelorette parties. That was literally what I thought. But they're not. <laughs> they're for no. morning, noon, and night. Oh. <laughs> yes, they are. Gluten-friendly and, um, and vegan options. The Gouda onion one. Awesome. So good. Awesome. And she sells them frozen at her store in Stillwater. Right? Mm. The sugar? That's good. Yeah. Is that is so good. Thank Highly recommend. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Danielson's and Daughters. Oh, look at that. It's even in the background. I know. Thought it through. Well done. Onion rings. They fresh make them. They've been here since I think I was just told, I could be wrong, 1954, I believe. It's a family, bus family business. It's been a, quite a long time. And it was not all that long ago that Sir Danielson decided to put and daughters because everyone else puts and sons, but he had and daughters. They're also associated with Route 66 Grill, which is right outside the food building, as is this. Yeah, don't, don't listen to me, I'll just talk forever. <laughs> they hand batter them. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is going to yeah. become a staple. Uh huh. Absolutely. Yeah. It's almost like a blooming onion, but yeah. separated. Mm -hmm. Which is not so, so like overwhelming. It's lighter than yep. a blooming onion. Uh -huh. And it's not heavily battered, which mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've had a better onion. I, I haven't had a better onion ring, I don't think. No, I have not either. But it's because it's so lightly battered. Yep. Uh -huh. You know how sometimes you bite an onion ring and then you pull and the <laughs> onion stays in your mouth and the dough and here. then falls on your chin and burns your chin? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Not happening here. And then you have to explain it at work what happened and then they don't believe you because yeah. then you thought you were making out with some guy. <laughs> and you, you got, got, you got uh, whisker burn. Whisker burn. <laughs> it was embarrassing. Well, no worries of that with Danielson's and daughters. <laughs> it is. <laughs> They're also in the coupon book so you can save $2.50. So if you get the coupon book for five dollars, then stop at Sarah's Tipsy Pies. You save three. Stop here. You save two fifty. Already made your money and then some. Uh -uh. Mm. These are really, really good. good. I'm sorry. Very good. The best onion ring I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine these on a burger? I was thinking uh, the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what was it called? Our favorite drive-in. Porky's. Mm, Porky's used to put the onion yeah. ring on top of the burger. This is a better onion ring than that. It is a travesty they shut that place down. Travesty. All right, Susan's starting to share unrelated opinions, so I'm going to stop the video. Bye. All right. 
Where are we? We are at Key Lime Pie Bar, right at the base of the Sky Ride. This is Jenny's pick for a must-do. <laughs> you I love Key Lime Pie, yep. so it's not going to be a stretch for me. Frozen and chocolate dip Key Lime Pie on a stick, dipped in white chocolate or dark chocolate. And it's, it's not, tart. and they've got a good freezer, so it's perfect, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that could be a problem. Yeah. Perfect freezer. You can tell it's quality chocolate on the outside. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good one, Jenny. This is key lime on a stick. Yep. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Six dollars. My favorite pie. Yeah. For mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if you're a key lime pie person, person. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a must-have. Yeah, must-have.